This game for young learners is called Magical Measurement. In this game, you will work in teams of two or three players to estimate, measure, and compare the lengths of objects surrounding the game area while using informal measuring tools. Here are some suggested materials for this game. In order to play, form teams of two or three players. Before playing, place the measuring tools inside their bags on a table in the game area. Make sure you have one die available. To start, one player rolls the die. The rolled number is the magical number for this round. For example, here we have a three. Next, each team chooses a measuring tool to use for the round. Before using the tool, look around to find three objects you think will be the magical number of units long when measuring with the chosen tool. In this case, we need to search for objects that are close to three units long when measuring with toilet paper rolls. Make sure to leave your tool at the table. Once each team has found three objects, it is time to measure. Measure each object's length using the chosen tool. In this case, the team is measuring with toilet paper rolls. After measuring all three objects, decide on one object that best fits the magical number of units. In this case, the team chooses one object that is the closest to three toilet paper rolls long. Each team brings the chosen object to the center of the game area. Teams show the tool used and how they measure their objects. Players discuss how close their measurements are to the magical number. After discussing the measurements, each player votes on which team's measurements was closest to the magical number. The team with the most votes keeps their object until the game is over. Each round, there is a new magical number and teams pick a new measuring tool. The process of estimating, measuring, then voting is completed for each round. At the end of three rounds, the team with the most objects in front of them wins. It is helpful to have players consider the following question at the end of the game. If you use two different measuring tools to measure the same object, do you get the same number? Why or why not? Another question to think about is, is the actual length of your team's object the same as the actual length of another team's object? If no, why are these lengths different? If yes, why are the lengths the same? There are a couple of variations to this game. First, you can use more dice to have a bigger magical number, which makes the game more challenging. For example, if you roll a 2 and a 3, this can be a magical number of 23 or 32. It's up to players to decide which magical number to use. For the second variation, start the game by picking an object to measure, then deciding which tool you think is best to use to measure this object. Record the number of units you measure, then try another tool. Which tool is better to use for your object? Why do you think so? Click on the instructions link on the Regional Math and Science Center website to read the game rules or just rewatch this video, pausing as needed. Thanks for playing!